Here we are uh, trying out uh, the latest edition of Garrison's uh, Old Fog Burner. This is 11.5% uh, barley wine style. It's very uh, a complex, caramel, malty, uh, heavyweight beer. Call it one of the heavyweights. And uh, I personally love the Fog Burner, but. Uh, yeah, it's uh, for me. This uh, I, high alcohol beer has never been my thing. Um, fortunately, lately we've tried a few styles that have kind of uh, uh, it made me made, make my peace with that I, I, high uh, alcohol style yeah. because I, I've never been a fan before. So, you know, I'm looking forward to tasting it again because now I have maybe a different appreciation for it. So, so we'll see how it goes. This is a nice, uh, deep, uh, this copper caramel color. The the head is a bit tan. Uh, you know, good carbonization there. Um, you take a whiff, you smell just a little hint of the sweetness from the barley, I find, yeah. which will come from the alcohol. But 11.5%, yeah. you know, this is something that you can just sit back and watch or read something right yeah you you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't take uh, have too many of these that's for sure I've never had it before so I'm kind of looking forward to this it's... this now the initial taste because we did the spruce uh, beer the first few tones the complex and a little bit of the bitterness up front of the tongue remind me a lot of the spruce beer yeah a little bit of uh, orange taste actually to it mm. that, that's kind of the, the the first thing the you know the kind of burnt orange you know Orange peel, okay. um, the bitterness like that. Uh, that's kind of what comes to the forefront for me. Right, right. It's good tasting. I have to agree with Jim. It's, uh... it's, um, yeah. I'm trying to find other like citrus tones. Yeah. Oh, or, definitely. Um, but definitely has like get your mouth full. There's definitely a lot of flavors in there. Oh, very... it's it's very complex. Yeah, y y you know, and and. This time around, I'm not hit full force by the alcohol, so mm. I don't know if it's me or if it's this batch this year compared to what I had last year. Mm. Um, I find, and, and you know, I'm trying to reminisce in my mind when I had the, the Old Fog Burner last year, it seemed to me like it was less subtle than this one. But I'm also picking up a little bit more of the bitterness, uh, mm -hmm. just vague recollections of the IPA midway through, which... I don't remember well, necessarily last year too. So. And that's why I think I find it more pleasant mm. for me, for my taste. Right, right, you yeah. know, because I don't like usually very heavy styles. I like more, well, very heavy on the malt, I mean. I, I like things that are a bit more on the hoppy side, IPAs, that type, right. type of stuff. So I, I'm enjoying this a bit more yep. than I did last yeah, year. Yeah, it's a little bit more hops, I'm mm -hmm. thinking here, yeah. Uh, a little bit of dryness at the end. Still kind of smooth. It's smooth, like it's for eleven and a half. I yeah, find it. surprisingly, yeah. It's, you wouldn't know it by yeah. sipping it. No. Well, you'll know it at the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All right, cheers, guys. Hey, cheers, cheers.